this week I made some stands for some props. Hi everyone, welcome back to the City Aperture channel. My name is Jose and I go by City Aperture. And I'm back this week with another project. Um, honestly, my first plan for this week's project was going to involve this guy right here, who, which is the Yellow Jacket from the first Ant-Man movie. Um, I bought that, so now it goes back a few months, it came in this box here. Um, but I bought it from Wish.com. Um, the idea when I bought it was that I was going to repaint it because I assumed it was going to be a fairly low quality paint job. Uh, but I was wrong in that. Um, it's actually a pretty good paint job. And uh, before I get into what I ended up doing then, is I'll show you some images and kind of do a quick review of this, uh, this little guy. Um, so knowing that I can repaint that guy, I decided to make a couple of stands for some props. So I made a stand here for my arc reactor, who, which I made a few weeks back. And well, actually, spoiled, yeah, it's a while back. And then I made a stand for my dagger, which I made a couple of projects ago. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you some up close images of the yellow jacket, so that you can decide if you want to buy it or not. And uh, then I'll show you how when I put him on here, so he won't fall out. But I'll also show you how I made those two stands. So in case you want to make some stands for some props. So let's get to that. So here is the Ant-Man from Wish, the, well, the yellow jacket. It's actually quite better than I expected. Comes well packaged, no damage, it's small. And because it was small, I was thinking I was going to have to repaint it. But um, here you see the dimensions, which is, you know, about two and a half inches tall with the little bolt stand and you know about an inch and a half wide at the widest here you see a good up close shot of it and you can see how good the paint job is I, w I was really thinking i was gonna have to repaint it and it was going to be a real bad paint job but pretty detailed you know and i couldn't complain with the still image the back uh, all in all fairly screen accurate and well painted couldn't complain what I did do is sand the little Ant-Man from the bolt, and then I painted it myself, painted it silver. So here we go, we're going to put it inside this cube. It's just the yellow jacket, which I've already repainted the screw for. Uh, I forget how much it's cost, I think it was only like 9 bucks over at the container store. like so, so you can see it. So I'm gonna take, and like I said, I've repainted now this bolt so it doesn't say Ant-Man on it anymore. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue on here, glue it to the middle, and then we'll be good. Here's the cheapest hot glue gun ever made. But, uh, big dab right there. Let me lower it to the center. Push down and hold. So we'll get back to the yellow jacket at the end, but here I'm making a stand for my arc reactor and you can check that video out, I'll put a link. First I cut it out of cardboard just to get an idea of how I wanted these pieces to look. So here you can see it, I would tape it together and then make changes, cut another piece off. Here I was angling the edges. So there it is. I think this is what I settled on. Okay, now that I have the look that I want, the shape that I want to hold it well, we're going to cut it out of wood. So let's look at the wood ready. Okay, so now we have this flattened here. So I'm going to use it to take this piece of wood, which I actually got my neighbor was throwing away a set of drawers. And I noticed that even though the rest of the piece of furniture wasn't actual wood, the side of the drawers were. So I like salvaged a bunch of this. And uh, I'm gonna use it for something, so I'm gonna use it for this. We're gonna resaw it now, run it through the planer, get it nice and thin to be able to do this with. So let's get started. 
And I had to restore it on the table saw because I don't have a band saw available to me. But, you know, just be careful if you decide to do this. I kept my hands well away from the blade. It's got to be safe. Cut it right in here. And then here's running it through the planer just to get it to the right thickness. Okay, so now we've milled it down to about a quarter of an inch, a little bit less than a quarter of an inch. We are ready to trace these shapes onto here and we use a table saw to cut down. So let's get to doing that. And here I am just tracing the patterns onto the wood and then taking different passes through the table saw to cut it. So that was the back part and then I'm going to take different cuts and then this is using the reciprocating saw to cut the circle inside and then I'm going to clean that out with a sander. Here I'm sanding some of the edges. And there we go, after a bit of sanding with the drum sander. This, this guy is just a little drum on my, on my drill, nice and smooth. Nice smooth curve. So we're ready to glue it together. And here's the glue. Just uh, tape it all together, put glue in the seams, and close it up essentially. Alright, so now I gotta, I'm gonna test feed this piece of wood inside the, the clear box. If you remember, the cardboard part was a little bit loose. So I cut the wood just a hint bigger. You can bear, you can kind of see it there. Just, a, just, a, just enough. So let's see how this goes. Needs to be. I want it to be tight, but not super tight. So that's good. It moves a little forwards and backwards, but not much. So there we go. We're good. Now we're gonna glue the base to the rest of the base. I'm gluing the base to who, or gluing the two parts together was a little tough because I didn't have a really good way of clamping it. So you're going to see I'm going to put glue on it and then uh, I'm just going to tape it down to the flat surface on my table. So, yeah, there was just no way of clamping it, so you just tape the heck out of it. And then here's painting it. Just went with a sort of nice blue, gloss black. Just a light coat because I want the grain to still show a bit. And now we've moved on to the part for the dagger, marking the where I'm going to cut it, cut the wood. And into the table saw to cut that out. The plan here is to cut a piece, dig where the dagger is going to fit into and then glue two other pieces of wood on top, which is what I'm doing right here. Just quick glue up after digging out that middle piece. After it's glued or set for a little bit, I'm checking where the angles are going to be using my angle gauge. And I'm going to cut it and I'll sand it first. Yeah, and I think I, I forgot, I sanded the angle into it rather than cutting it. And now just a base for that part, and just a wider base. Which is what I'm doing here at the table, so that scrap piece of wood again. And I just glued the two pieces together. And clamp it. This was easy enough to clamp. Right. Now I know this joint, this glue joint, is not the strongest, but I mean, it's just going to be holding up a little piece of plastic, so I don't think it's that big a deal, I don't think I have to worry about it too much. Here's painted. So I put some felt in there so that it fits better, so here. For example, you're going to see, it's a tighter fit so it doesn't move around anymore. 
I just gotta trim off this part and we're all done. And then I just glued some felt to the bottom as well, just a little spray adhesive on the felt and then trim it tight to the stand. And there you have it, here is the yellow jacket next to my battery. <laughs> so they're all now set for display, they won't get dusty. There's the arc reactor. I'm going to eventually drill a hole in the back of it so I can have it plugged in, but i got to get a step to the step drill it. And Loki's dagger. There you guys go. That's how I made the stand for my arc reactor and for the dagger. Both of which I have uh, videos for. Um, for the arc reactor, I even go into a whole review as to or from ordering it from Wish and whatnot. So, and if you want the yellow jacket, I'll put it up close again. I uh, will put a link to it from the Wish store on uh, my um, on the description below. So I think it's worth it. I, I think I made that pretty clear in the r quick review right before the making. But uh, yeah, there you have it. If, there's a couple more things still coming from Wish that I ordered. I just you know trying to test it out, seeing what it was going to be all about. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week with another project. Thanks so much. If you guys like this project, then maybe you'll enjoy the podcast that I do with my two colleagues, Claudia and Ray. We discuss purpose-driven design, making, and manufacturing. We talk about architecture. We talk about all sorts of making. We have a project of the week. So, uh, yeah, please check it out. Again, it's called The Made Podcast. Thanks so much.